Yo, yo, yu gi this is DFish Fan here. So, decided to bring you guys a deck list of this deck, the my Obelus deck. Before I um, get rid of it, because I've decided that I'm not going to pursue making it more competitive. It's already pretty competitive. It has a, you know, it's just a frog deck on steroids with the 4,000 beater that you get out pretty much um, a lot. <laughs> You get them out every game, honestly, but the biggest trouble I'm having is recovering. Kind of like Sam's, you make that one push, you get them out, and then if they do get Dark Hole, Mirror Force, or whatever, um, what do you do after that if you don't draw another one? Because even at three, I don't draw them as much as I need to. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy. Uh, the deck focal, uh, focuses on getting them out, and I feel this build is actually very good. Because you do get them out consistently. It's just getting them to your hand that's hard. Some people have suggested maybe Gold Sark is something I could try doing. But uh, I just don't want to invest any more time in it, at least at this moment. So I, I found another deck that I want to make that's already proven competitive, like top tier. And I've been testing it out for a while. So I'll bring you guys that deck list as soon as I, I'm almost done with it. So it should be pretty soon. Uh, I'm most likely going to get it this weekend. But uh, nonetheless, let's get on with the deck list. Oh my god. Alright, so we got Triple Obelisk. Very good. Um, 4,000 beater, can't be stopped when he's summoned, cannot be targeted, and can be special summoned for a turn. <laughs> so ridiculous. Alright, double Treeborn. Double Fishborg. Triple Swap Frog. This card's amazing. Uh, double Ronin Toten. Double's really good in here because uh, Ronin Toten is one of the main ways that you're going to be specially. Your tribute targets. Two Light and Darkness Dragons. Kind of like a mini obelisk in terms of control. Really good. And then when he's done, destroy him. Special Obelisk for a 4,000 beater. At least for the turn. Uh, Battle Fader. Triple Tengu, and then I really didn't want to get Tengu for a fun deck, because <laughs> I thought that sounded kind of stupid. Same with Glow Ball. Gores. Sangha. Alright, on to spells, double soul exchange. I would cut down from triple, but um, still very good. Double Fiend Sanctuary. I just couldn't find this card. Like, I know it's not that expensive, it's just no one that I know bought Duelist Pack Kaiba, because that's pretty dumb. And so I didn't have it. One enemy controller. Uh, I know a lot of people like this card. I've never been a huge fan of it. One for one. Double Gnome Extermination. This card was amazing. <laughs> Swords. Uh, underrated. Really stalls for a lot. And in this deck, you could play Swords. For three turns, just set monsters and then at the end, sacrifice. Reasoning. No one calls level 10. Book of Moon. Foolish. Monster Reborn. Dark Hole. True Nate. And double spiritual water arts. Alright guys, so that was the deck list. Um, this will probably be the last deck list of this deck for a long time. But uh, hopefully in the future I can revisit this deck and... One day make it as consistent as I want it to be, because <laughs> it's a it's a really fun deck. I I mean don't get me wrong if you if you want to play a fun deck, you know you've wanted to play an obelisk deck. This is no doubt the build I would suggest. It's pretty amazing when you do get obelisk. I wish you could run like four or five because I would get it out like pretty much a lot. <laughs> so alright, thanks you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Later's.